Are you team Airbus or Boeing? If you're fond of commercial aviation, there are no doubts you've been asked this question before. It's also the source of endless debates down in the comments section of most aviation articles and YouTube videos. The two leaders in aircraft manufacturing have been competing since the 1970s when the European consortium entered the market as an alternative to the American Colossus. Since then, Airbus and Boeing have been shaping the fleets of the world's airlines, progressively upgrading their successful products to align with the evolving requests of an ever-changing and complex industry. While some carriers operate mixed fleets of Airbus and Boeing aircraft, others decide to invest completely in one particular manufacturer. The logic behind this decision has different natures, among which one finds economic advantages. However, when it comes down to the products that we step on board, Airbus and Boeing aircraft are entirely different products from many perspectives. The companies also have different histories and have different offerings outside of commercial aviation. In today's video, we take a look at five ways in which the two major manufacturers differ from one another. Number 1. I have the airplane. When boarding an aircraft, resisting the urge to peek inside the cockpit to admire where the magic happens can be difficult. This would allow you to identify one of the main differences between an Airbus and a Boeing aircraft. For the former, you would not spot the classic yoke in front of the pilot seats. Indeed, Airbus pilots use a side stick similar to a console joystick to steer their aircraft. Boeing generally adopts a more classic approach to flight controls, the aircraft's control surfaces such as ailerons, elevators and rudders are activated by maneuvering the yoke. On the other hand, Airbus was the first manufacturer to introduce the fly-by-wire or FBW concept. Unlike manual flight controls, the FBW system translates the pilot's inputs into electrical signals. After processing the information received, these are transmitted to a computer that identifies the optimal way to activate the aircraft's control surfaces. No matter how hard Airbus pilots want their aircraft to pitch or roll, computer programming prevents the plane from performing maneuvers that are considered unsafe at specific stages of the flight. In other words, assuming there were no aircraft issues, where Boeing pilots could theoretically cause the aircraft to stall, their Airbus colleagues may find this more difficult, as an Airbus computer would prevent the aircraft from exceeding its operational limits. Number 2. Just look at the door. If you're flying on a short or medium-haul aircraft and didn't have a chance to look out the window before stepping onto the jet bridge, it's still pretty easy to tell if you're on board an Airbus or Boeing plane as you approach the aircraft at the end of the tunnel. All you have to do is look at the door while boarding. The Airbus A320 family and Boeing 737 family are the most popular short or mid-range aircraft families in the world. However, they differ in many ways. One of the most noticeable is how the aircraft's doors are designed. Airbus doors run parallel to the fuselage when opened, while a Boeing door moves crossway, flipping open and exposing its cabin side. Additionally, opening a Boeing door almost always implies turning a lever, whereas to open an Airbus door, the movement is from the bottom up. With these different designs, it would appear that cabin crews need to put a lot more effort into closing the door of a 737 than compared to an A320. That's how it looks, at least. If you've ever had the experience of closing a 737 door, do let us know in the comments down below what it's like. Number 3 is Airbus's signature, the barking dog sound. If you fly on an Airbus A320 family aircraft or an Airbus A330, you will most likely hear what's described as a dog bark sound at specific stages of the flight. If this is the case, you have nothing to worry about. The sound is indeed a sign that the aircraft's hydraulics are functioning correctly. Phenomenal news, right? As it happens, this unusual noise is caused by the aircraft's power transfer unit or PTU system, a hydraulic pump that ensures minimum pressure is maintained across the aircraft's hydraulic systems. 
Although some Boeing aircraft also feature a PTU, it operates differently, making it almost impossible for passengers on a Boeing aircraft to hear this noise. Number 4. Special historical ties with a particular major airline Moving away from the differences between their commercial aircraft products, let's look at some history. Boeing and Airbus have played a fundamental role in shaping commercial aviation as we know it today. Among the two expert manufacturers, however, there is one whose history dates back to the very early days of aviation. William E. Boeing was an American timber merchant who founded Aero Products Company after developing a single-engine, two-seat plane in 1916. The following year, the business name was changed to Boeing Airplane Company, and it started manufacturing flying boats for the US Navy during World War I. After launching airmail services in 1928, William Boeing founded Boeing Airplane and Transport Corporation to expand into airline operations. The following year, the company was renamed United Aircraft and Transport Corporation and acquired smaller aircraft makers and engine manufacturers, including Pratt & Whitney. In 1931, four small airlines were added to the business, giving birth to United Airlines. In 1934, the new U.S. antitrust legislation prohibited aircraft manufacturers from being involved in air transport. Therefore, United Aircraft and Transport Corporation was dissolved, resulting in the Boeing Aircraft Company, United Technologies Corporation, and United Airlines, the same one flying all over the globe today as a member of the Star Alliance. Airbus, on the other hand, has no such historical connection with any particular airline. At the same time, the European manufacturer, as a major employer across the continent, has probably seen more loyalty from French, German and Spanish airlines. Whether it's direct politics or not, major airlines probably want to be seen supporting their local industries. Number 5 is a little different perhaps highlighting a similarity between the two giants. Indeed, both companies are more than just aircraft manufacturers. Although Airbus and Boeing are usually associated with plane manufacturing, both companies offer a more comprehensive range of products and services. Airbus, for instance, operates in the commercial aircraft, helicopters, defense and space sectors. At the same time, Boeing's business areas entail commercial, space and defense. The one big difference with the portfolios of the two companies is that Airbus has ventured into a market where it does not compete with its all-time American rival, civilian helicopters. In 2022, Airbus delivered 344 helicopters, six more than in 2021, with this division generating a revenue stream of 7 billion euros. Boeing offers no competing products to Airbus's line of civilian helicopters. That said, Boeing is notable for producing one of the most critical military helicopters, the CH-47 Chinook. Beyond this, the company's website for rotorcraft also notes the following offerings. MH-139, AH-6 Little Bird, AH-64 Apache, and the V-22 Osprey. There are undoubtedly more differences between the two companies. Can you think of others? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.